hello everyone welcome to another training session so uh, in this one we'll be starting off with article number 19 i hope oh, the past sessions were very useful for you and you were able to you know clarify your doubts if you're new to the channel please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that uh, we'll be getting intimation of new videos also please share this video to maximum number of participants so that everyone can be benefited and if you uh, like the video at the end of the session please press the like button also if you have any questions or any queries related to the content of this training or you need any clarification on any 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 particular subject please do mention in the comment section your uh, comments so that uh, i can review them and we'll get back to you as soon as possible okay so without wasting any time let's get started okay article number 19 so article number 19 deals with presentations how a, a document presented under the guarantee will be dealt with how the document presented under the guarantee will be scrutinized in what manner it is to be issued in what manner beneficiary needs to present a document and if the document is presented how we'll be uh, looking at it with respect to guarantee terms and conditions so we have a we have an example over here bg issuance date is 10th of january effective date is 20th of feb so from 10th of january till 19th of february no demand can be presented expiry is 30th september 2021 amount is hundred thousand dollars underlying that means the the obligation which applicant needs to perform is delivery of red shirts as per contract number 123x delivery of red shirts as per contract number 123x this is the underlying this is the guarantee terms and conditions guarantee subjected to urdg guarantee is calling for a demand and a copy of certificate from abc limited okay so what article number 19 says is when a presentation is made under the guarantee the guarantor will determine whether the presentation is compliant or not on the face of it by checking it with respect to the guarantee terms and conditions i will not be referring to any other document i will not be referring to any other uh, source of information i'll only be checking the document with respect to the guarantee terms and conditions if the document is presented on or after 20th of feb but before the expiry date if the amount demanded is 100 million dollars or less than that if the statement of breach mentions something related to this but not contradicting to it and the certificate is presented that demand is complying for me okay now by saying that that demand is complying for me there are few other requirements which are required to be mentioned in a demand that the demand needs to be dated that demand needs to be signed demand needs to be relate needs to relate itself uh, under which guarantee it is presented so and so forth so if all the conditions are satisfied as per the guarantee terms and conditions i will be making payment okay next is in this example suppose uh, the certificate which is presented that certificate mentions delivery of shirts not done as per contract number 123x the underlying was delivery of red shirts as per contract number 123x this state this certificate mentions delivery of shirts was not done as per 123x this is acceptable even though it is not exactly as what is mentioned in the guarantee but it is also not contradicting if here it would have been mentioned mentioned green shirts then there is a contradiction because of this word green and this demand cannot be accepted so what urdg says is if i am mentioning in my guarantee that the demand has to categorically mention this statement and that statement i'm giving i'm giving the wording of the statement and the guarantee says that this statement of breach has to be replicated in the demand so for example if the guarantee says this condition needs to be mentioned exactly in the demand then 
even if the demand says delivery of shorts not done as per contract it will not be accepted i'll repeat if the guarantee says delivery of red shirts was not done delivery of red shirts was not done as per contract number 123x this exactly is to be mentioned in the statement of breach in the demand if guarantee says this then the statement of breach has to mention exactly these wordings because the guarantee categorically mentions that this is to be exactly mentioned in the demand however if the guarantee is silent on this part if guarantee just mentions this is the underlying guarantee request for a demand and copy of certificate and statement of breach mentioned delivery of shirts not done as per contract then this statement is okay because it is not contradicting to the guarantee terms and conditions okay now next part is our guarantee is calling for two documents first is the demand second is a certificate from chamber of commerce the guarantee does not mention any other thing as per the requirements of demand the demand has to be signed demand has to be dated demand has to mention under which guarantee it is presented demand has to mention a statement of breach demand has to mention the amount which is demanded under the guarantee now we do not have any information mentioned in the guarantee with respect to requirements on this certificate so when the guarantee does not specify what or uh, in what nature a document is to be issued then we'll be accepting that document if it is in line with the normal working of that document by normal working i mean if in normal circumstances that document is issued in unsigned form i'll accept it if in normal circumstances that document is issued in signed form i'll accept a signed document now how will you judge or how will you determine that in what manner a document is issued in normal circumstances so now normally any certificate will always be issued as a signed document because someone is certifying something a person will only certify something and that certification will be valid if the identity of the entity who is certifying that thing is known now every certificate in normal circumstances will be issued as signed every insurance document will be issued as a signed document every transport document will be issued as a signed document every document which is issued by uh, the court authority the regulator or the registered legislator will always be signed so any document which is issued by any of these entities or any certificate will always be issued in a signed manner so even if your guarantee does not mention that this document is to be signed or not you will see in normal circumstances how the document is issued accordingly you will be uh, checking with respect to those requirements now uh, if your guarantee is calling for an insurance document or a guarantee is calling for a, a transport document you need not to check go back and check that whether that insurance document is signed by the issuing authority or broker or their agent anyone can sign if the document is signed you will accept it okay you need not to go into the uh, details with respect to the signing authority of the entity no if the document is signed you will accept it similarly if a bill of lading is presented you need not to check whether the bill of lading is signed by the carrier or its agent or master no if the bill of lading is provided to you as a signed document okay okay we will not we will not be checking the authority of the entity who is signing the document okay next is if a document is not required under under a guarantee and it is presented i will simply disregard it nothing Uh, I'll be doing with that document. If it is not called for under the guarantee, it is an extra document. I'll be disregarding it and keeping it away. Also, if a guarantee mentions the requirement of a document to be legalized or visaed or uh, countersigned by any entity, any specific entity, if the 
signature or if the document appears to be signed by that entity i'll accept it also any uh, calculations which is mentioned in any document i will not be rechecking those calculations if the beneficiary has given some calculation in the demand whatever is the final amount mentioned in the guarantee sorry whatever is the final amount mentioned in the demand i will take that i will not be rechecking the beneficiaries calculations next is article number 20 time of examination so same example we are having two documents are called for one is demand one is certificate of certificate from chamber of commerce okay now beneficiary presents a demand on friday okay now saturday and sunday are non business day in my country okay in, in whichever country the bg is issued saturday and sunday are non business days so when demand is presented on 24th my day one will be i'll be excluding 25 i'll be excluding 26th the next day from the date the demand is presented will be my day 1 so this will be my day 1 day 2 3 four. 1st of october will be my fifth business day on or before 1st of october i have to either make payment to the beneficiary or tell the beneficiary that the demand is discrepant so the moment a demand is presented from the next day within five business days i have to tell the beneficiary whether the demand is compliant or not now this time duration okay of five business days is not affected by the expiry of the guarantee the expiry of the guarantee was 30th of september that doesn't mean my five business day time period is reduced because in between the guarantee got expired no i will still have five business days even if the beneficiary would have presented the demand on this date which is on the expiry date if the demand is presented on the expiry date i will still have five business days another case certificate is presented on 24th and beneficiary told me that the presentation will be completed in due course so my checking will not start unless beneficiary now gives me a go ahead so my my checking will not start unless beneficiary presents this document and confirms me that yes now the presentation is complete as per me you can go ahead and check suppose beneficiary presented certificate on 24th he did not do anything till 30th okay on 1st of october guarantee is gone when this was the last date on 1st of october the guarantee is not existent beneficiary cannot come to you on 1st of october and say that boss i presented a document on 24th you did not give me a notice of refusal now you make payment to me no if the beneficiary has made partial presentation and beneficiary has told the guarantor that this payment this presentation will be completed in due course the guarantor is not liable to check that document unless beneficiary explicitly confirms that the presentation is not complete the day beneficiary confirms presentation is complete so for example if another case beneficiary presented certificate on this date and on 29th beneficiary presented the demand which is this and beneficiary confirmed that now the presentation is complete day 1 will be 30th of september then i'll be taking five business days and informing the beneficiary whether the presentation or whether the demand is complying or not if the demand is complying i'll immediately make the payment also the payment will be made from the office which issued the guarantee or if the guarantee says that even though the guarantee is issued from say say mumbai branch 
any presentation has to be done at Delhi branch and payment will be made from Delhi branch. Then in that case, beneficiary has to present the documents at Delhi branch and the payment will be made from there. Otherwise, under the normal circumstances, the payment will be made from the branch that issued the BG. The documents are to be presented before the expiry date to the branch that issued the guarantee. So friends, here we have completed today's training session. I hope you liked the training session and I hope that your doubts were clarified. If you like the session, please press the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel and share this particular video with maximum number of participants so that everyone can be benefited. Have a great day. Thank you.